Here's the intro. Plot Out was a game that was released on Xbox, PS2, and PC back in July of 2005. Well, in North America at least, and other parts of the world it came out in various states, but that doesn't really matter, does it? This is another game that I've talked about in the past, but only once before, and this time I'm looking at the Xbox version rather than the PS2 version, so it's a major difference, I guess. I played this on my 360, so you didn't get the cool intro. Haha, <laughs> good. We gotta deal with copyright stuff. Girls just want... So girls just want flat out. Well, I mean, you know, it's just it's cool. Well, why don't we just go ahead and start our career in this nonsense, huh? Come on now, we all know how career mode works in these mostly multiplayer focused games. They just kind of give you something to do when you don't have your friends over. Or don't have any friends at all. Well, let's just start ourselves a good old race. <laughs> you think we could be any closer, fellas? This is one of those kind of more realistic racers, but it doesn't really feel that realistic. And by that I mean there's not a lot of moments where you're just like, what am I doing wrong? Don't get me wrong, but you do have those confusing moments where you're just like, I thought I was doing this, but it's doing this. You know, perhaps I should do a little more clarification of what I'm talking about. If you've ever played the Gran Turismo or the Forza series, you should know what I'm talking about when it comes to realistic racers. Something that sets it apart from some of the realistic racers is stuff like this, where you have ramps and other obstacles that get in the way. I'm not saying no other realistic racers have stuff. Alright, so that's another thing that really sets us apart. If you hit something at a certain speed or in a certain way, then your character can go flying out of their vehicle, basically becoming a ragdoll. It's very entertaining. I probably should show a clip of it. That feature is really utilized in many games like this. <laughs> Torture is fun. Really though, this is some pretty entertaining stuff. This is some pretty entertaining stuff. I really need to not run my S sounds that together. One thing you can do in career mode is earn cash to upgrade your vehicle. It's kind of nice and adds a little strategy. I think this is considered strategy. Another thing you can do with the cash is buy more vehicles. I didn't have the patience to really do that, but you can do that. Let's take a look at some of the other modes, shall we? Of course, you have your standard quick race like in a lot of these games where you can just play the maps that you've unlocked. Tracks. They're, they're called tracks in racing games. And of course, you can also use the vehicles you have unlocked in the game. Now a really handy feature this game has is if you hit a wall or something and you have to reset your position, you can do that. It kind of sets you back a bit, but it can save some annoyances. Now another interesting way they have this game sort of realistic is the fact that your vehicle can get really messed up depending on where you hit it at. It actually doesn't affect your driving all that much, but it's still an interesting detail. Yeah, that's kind of why the position reset feature is handy. Of course, this would be a little more fun with more people, considering this is a multiplayer game, but again, I didn't have any for this recording, so cue the music again. But that doesn't mean you can't have any fun without your friends around, so why don't we check out some more of those mini games? These are definitely the best features of the Flat Out series. They're just so absurd. Another mode this game has is Demolition Derby mode, where, well, it's like how it sounds. You just ram into other cars and try not to get killed yourself. If you wanted to really see how damaged your car can get, this is definitely the best mode for that. If any of you decide to play this game, let me know what it's like whenever you win one of these. Because I sure as hell don't know what that's like. Now, if you ever find yourself playing this game and you're like, man, I really wish I could unlock those extra features a lot faster for my friends whenever they come over, or I just want to see what all this game has to offer, well, you probably know where I'm going with this. Microtransactions! Don't forget to keep spending an absurd amount of money to maybe get what you're looking for! <laughs> I'm just kidding, you silly bastard. You put in a freaking cheat code. 
No, I'm not really sure why I said it like that, but basically uh, you put in the cheat code in the name menu whenever you start a new profile, and then you can just name it whatever afterwards, and hey, you have everything. All the vehicles, all the tracks, all the mini games, just whatever you need, it's all here within limits. I just took all this opportunity to play all the mini games where you just abuse the hell out of your character. So yeah, this game has a lot to it. A lot of fun can be had here. I wouldn't call it hours and hours of fun, but it's still pretty fun with friends or somewhat by yourself. So if you have an original Xbox, a 360, a PS2, or a computer that can run this game, I would recommend it. It's actually pretty cheap these days. Now I wouldn't call this the best in the Flat Out series, but it is a pretty fun time. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to hit that like button if you like this video, and then do the subscribe if you want to see more like this. And uh, thanks for watching. I don't know how to end these yet, so I'll, of course I'll figure it out.